Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company with part 3 on the fuzzy match tool. In our result list from part 2, we see the match score twice. Once as match score and a second time as match score my name. We can, of course, enter several variables in the fuzzy match tool and for each variable the score is calculated. In our case, the single score is match score my name and the total score is match score. Since we have only looked at one variable so far, the single score and total score are of course the same. To see what happens when we add more variables, we extend our table to include the attribute company with the specification Casa Geo. In the fuzzy match tool we select the variable company, which we have to edit again. In contrast to the first variable, we do not have to generate a key here because we have already selected one. So we set the generate key field to none. Otherwise, we choose the same settings as for the first variable. If we run the workflow, we get three match scores, one for the total, one for the name and one for the company. Let's compare the three score values for the first data set. The match score my name is 89, the match score company is 100 and the match score total is in between with 94. Let's do the math, 100 plus 89 divided by 2 equals 94.5. Round it off, that's 95. Oops. Something is not right. To be on the safe side, let's look at the second data set. 83 plus 100 divided by 2 equals 91.5. Round it off, that's 92. Here are calculation matches that have alterix. The fuzzy match tool offers the possibility to weight individual variables differently for the calculation of the total score. We test this and compare the result again with our calculation. To do this, we edit the field company and set match weight to 50, because for our total score the company name should only be half as important as my name. We confirm the settings with OK and let the workflow run. The total score for data set 1 is now 93 and for data set 2 it is 89. We calculate again, 100 times 50 plus 89 times 100 is equal to 13900 divided by 150 and thus results in 92 comma period 6. Rounded off, that is 93. So it fits. In general, the total score is calculated according to the following formula here. Score 1 times weight 1, plus score 2 times weight 2, plus score n times weight n. We put brackets around this expression and divide it by the following expression. Weight 1, plus weight 2, plus weight n, and then get the total score. If we apply the formula to data set 2, we get a correct result again. Why our result in the first case differs from all tricks has to do with how the match score itself is calculated. We remember that we used best of JRO and Levenstein as the match function. Now, in the first step, we need to find out which algorithm Alteryx has chosen, JRO or Levenstein. This is easily done by editing our fuzzy match tool and changing the selection. First we look at the result for Levenstein. The score here is 83. So Alteryx must have used JRO. We check this. As expected, we get a score of 89 for JRO. If I recalculate the value for JRO, I get a score of 88.9. If we put the value into the formula, we get 94.45 for the total score. At 94.45 we round down and our value now matches that of Alteryx. Alright. Let's recap. Alteryx first calculates the individual scores and the total score and rounds the output at the very end. But how did I calculate the score for JRO? This is exciting and how the score for JRO and Levenstein is actually calculated I show in the following two videos. Thank you for your time. We are happy to support you in the area of data science and location intelligence.